So let's get this straight. Chat OpenAI now actually has not one but two apps. There's ChatGPT, which everyone has been using all this yeah. well. Now there's a second app. OpenAI has come out with a new video model and it's making all the noise on Twitter for different reasons. Sora 2 has come out, uh, which is a huge advancement compared to their previous model, which apparently has better physics, motions, and like the improvement in the model is pretty significant that people have started, I mean, loving it on Twitter. But there's also a counter argument that people are making. Have you seen some of those tweets? Yes. Uh, and so so let's get this straight. Chat OpenAI now actually has not one but two apps. There's ChatGPT, which everyone had been using all this while. Now there's a second app called Sora 2. And that is, it comes pretty close to TikTok is what some people are saying. Bottomless scroll and, and of AI generated content. I think the arguments are, you know, some people are saying, hey, all of this for what? All of this, you know, AI build out and all of this money and all of these brilliant people, like what's it amounting to in the end? You know, yet another place where you, you've got a bottomless scroll. The other argument is people say that no matter what you might say, open AI has a way of closing the loop on the consumer products. They will turn things into an app and consumerize technology the best way they can. And they have to make money, right? I mean, eyeballs make money. So OpenAI will, of course, funnel some of this back. I mean, they can only raise the first seed pricing for ChatGPT so much. So unless we want our own subscriptions increasing substantially, I guess we should be okay with ads paying for a little bit of the, the research and compute and everything else that's an influence that's going on in the background. And Elon Musk always has a dog in the fight. He's announced that uh, Wine, but for AI, is also coming soon.